Hey, Sneakerlix back again. Old hardware, new OS again. Now, I thought to myself, because we know we've done some earlier in the series of Zorin OS, and it was a bit a bit too heavy for this machine, really, wasn't it, when you thought about it? I thought, should we try a Linux Mint, but we'll go with Mate, me old mate. So this is Linux Mint 13 Maya. 64-bit, as we should say. I've installed Google Chrome, by the way, as you can see. It doesn't come with it. But it's a 64-bit version. I thought, how do we get along? So I open the menu. As you can see, quite sprightly, isn't it? I'll just go to System Tools, and we'll go to System Monitor, okay? And we'll open it up. Now, as you can see, consider I'm recording at the same time. It's not doing too bad. Yes, it's using another 300 megabytes of my RAM, but it's not using no swap. It's not doing too bad at all. I'll just go and prove to you what system we're using. As you can see, release 13 Maya. That's the kernel 320.23 generic. And there's my CPU. It's the Pentium for 3 gig and it's a 1 gig of RAM. It's only showing 995. It shows different amounts in whatever system I put it in. And it's a full install, of course. Yes, a full install to a real machine. But as you can see, it's not been too bad, really. So I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over here. Here and here. And we're going to open up Google Chrome. And that's how we start using our memory and swap and our CPU to see if we're any good on this sort of hardware. Now I've tested it for a little while, and the reason is it's quite good really. Let's go to the tube and we'll see what it does and open the system monitor up again because I've not deleted it. It's here. Open up a web page, it's not too bad. I've got video rang in the back there, as you can see, it's a bit of an advert. But on the whole, it's not doing too bad. Yes, it's using over 100 more meg of my RAM. Yes, I would expect that, okay? So I'll put my name in here. We'll just run one of my vidvos, okay, see what happens, 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 and we'll just run, for instance, this one here. And we'll probably get an advert to start with, as you will see. No, we don't do that. Looks all right from here, okay. Open up system monitor. Now, of course, we're using flash, but it's only, you know, it's not big flash, it's little flash. Quite high CPU, but not so much memory-wise, and it has started using some swap. So if I wasn't recording at the same time and doing audio, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? But yeah, it runs not so bad, really, when you think about it. Okay, that's enough of that. I'll quickly show you what else Linux Mint Maya's got anyway, which is quite a lot. So if I go to Favorites first, get Firefox as your default web browser, your mail client is Chunderbird, Banshee for your music player, and you do get Pigeon for your internet messaging. You've got the usual here, Terminal, Text Editor is Pluma, and your sound stuff. Change your monitor resolutions. I'll go back to all applications. So we go to graphics, Gimpage is there, as you can see, NG Thumb, Internet. Okay, you get transmission and XChat as well, so you get quite a lot with it. Remember, it is nearly a gigabyte, so that's the reason why, really. Under Office, as you can see, the full LibreOffice suite. Sound and video, as I told you, you get Banshee. Obviously, I'm using Record My Desktop just to prove it all works hunky dory and it's a full installation, etc., etc., because we wouldn't do it in the box, really, in this sort of series, would we? If you're just doing a test of a system, I don't mind doing a box, but it is really, really preferable if you can do it on a real machine, to be honest with you. Under System Tools, this uses Analyzer, a file browser, DW package installer, log viewer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Under administration, all the usual mint stuff. Of course, I've put in the NVIDIA driver here, works nicely. This is 173, not the 193, okay. Synaptic is here as well, and also a system software manager and a software center, okay. And under your preferences, you get all your usual stuff that you would do with Mintola, okay. I'll open up Gimpy for you just before we go anywhere else. Short video, because it's a short series, okay. But all I'm going to say is, there's only a few distros that you couldn't really use on this sort of system. One would be a full KDE system, and one would be Unity. It's just not going to work. But once you go to start going down, say, uh, Mate, XFCE, LXD, and some of the others, no bleeding problem, it seems so far. But only another day, and I'm going to give you my conclusion, and I think there's going to be three answers, to be really honest with you. But yeah, the Linux Mint 13, Maya 64-bit, mm -mm -mm -mm, with my mate, very nice indeedy. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.